Welcome to this video for Music Library Research Methods on Written Sources. This video covers the use of books, theses and dissertations, and journal articles for use in music research when you are looking for information about a specific composer or piece of music. In this section we'll be looking at different types of books including bibliographies, biographies, primary sources, and translations that may be of use for conducting research on a specific composer or piece of music. Music research is often compiled into a book-length bibliography on a particular topic. In this section I will introduce two types of music bibliography. The first type of bibliography focuses on the research on a particular composer. These are called research guides or biobibliographies. Firstly, they describe the current state of scholarly research, important developments in research history, and highlight important experts in the field. They also list other useful information such as the locations of manuscripts and archives important to research on this composer. Biobibliographies usually consist of two major components, a biography providing an overview of the composer's life and significant compositions, followed by a bibliography which occupies the majority of the book. There are two important series of biobibliographies in the library. One is the Biobibliographies in Music by Greenwood Press. The other is the Guides to Research series by Rutledge Publishing. The second type of bibliography you'll find in this section is a bibliography of compositions called a descriptive catalog or a thematic catalog. In these catalogs you will find listings of composers' works that may or may not include annotations, essential information, and incipits. Incipits are the opening notation and text for each movement or section of a composition. Both the biobibliographies and catalogs are located in the ML 134 section of the library. They're organized there alphabetically by composer last name. Books about the lives and works of individual composers make up a large part of the collection in any music library and are located in the ML 410 section. When you're researching a particular piece of music, always use the index at the back of the book to see where your piece is mentioned within the book. Even if the piece does not appear, read as much as you can about that portion of the composer's life. Probably the easiest way to find a biography on a particular composer is to browse the biography section, which is organized by the last name of the composer. Another way to find books on a particular composer is to use the library catalog. Use a combination of search terms, combine the composer's last name with the search terms history and criticism, or criticism and interpretation, or biography, and you will find books related to the composer's life and works. So for this example, I'm going to search for books about WC. I'm going to use the advanced search option in the library catalog. I'm going to enter WC as a subject, and then I will enter another subject, history and criticism. The search results bring up six items and you can see that many of them are located in the ML 410 section of the library. To find other books on Debussy's life and works, I could try the search again, this time with Debussy as a subject and criticism and interpretation as another subject. This will turn up items that focus on criticism and analysis of the composer's works. Another search I could try is Debussy as a subject and biography as a subject. Books that will turn up in this search will focus mainly on the events of Debussy's life. In the library, you'll also find books that provide the composer's own writing, primarily through letters and journals. To find these items, you're going to want to use the advanced search again, combine the composer's last name as a subject, along with correspondence as a subject. This will find results containing letters and other text authored by the composer. Again, if you're looking for reference to a particular piece of music within these books, use the index at the back of the book to see if your piece is mentioned. Books that provide word-for-word -word and poetic texts and translations are useful sources for performers, conductors, and those involved in music research. You'll find these sources in the ML47 to ML 54.8 section of the library. The texts of musical works are known as libretti, which means the words. 
You can find libretti by searching the catalog with the composer's name, keywords from the title of the piece that you're looking for, and a shortened version of the word libretti. In this case, the asterisk will allow us to find both the words libretto in the singular and libretti in the plural. In the search results, you'll see that there are a number of different formats, including musical recordings, scores, and books that contain text and translations for this opera. Theses and dissertations are also a useful source for finding scholarly research on music topics. They are much longer than journal articles, but usually focus on a topic or piece of music more closely than most books. If you find a thesis or dissertation on a particular piece of music, you can use the bibliography at the back to find other resources on the same topic. Theses and dissertations can be found in the library, but you will find a much larger and comprehensive collection through the online literature. The best place to start searching is ProQuest Dissertations and Theses, an interdisciplinary database that contains full-text access to millions of titles from 1861 to the current day. The link to ProQuest Dissertations and Theses can be found in the Music Research Guide under the Find Theses and Dissertations tab on the left-hand side of the page. In this example, I'm looking for theses or dissertations on Beethoven's Eroica. I'm going to enter those two search terms and then I'm going to limit these to anywhere except full text. This will allow me to find a more relevant set of search results. If you click on the citation and abstract option this will take you to a summary of the theses or dissertation and other information about the publication. You can preview the PDF or you can download the full text. Journal articles are another very important source of music research. Within them, you will find recent research results, practical guidance, information about issues and events. Historically, they reflect the views and issues of the time, and increasingly we find that journal literature is available online through library databases and other sources. Within the journal literature, you'll find some articles that are described as peer-reviewed, this term is used interchangeably with other terms such as juried, scholarly, or academic. Peer-reviewed means that before the article was published, it was read and approved by the editor of the publication and one or more outside readers, in order to make sure it meets the scholarly and literary standards of the publication. There are different kinds of peer review processes. In a blind peer review process, the reviewers do not receive the name of the author, and the author does not receive the name of the reviewer. As part of the review process, authors will often be asked to make revisions to the text before it is published. Many journal databases will offer the option to limit to articles that are peer reviewed. It can be harder to establish quality with publications that do not have a review process, since there's no guarantee of external reading or approval. In non-reviewed publications, quality really depends more on the integrity of the individual author. There are a variety of ways that you can search for journal articles. When searching for journal articles, you may wish to look in a relevant single journal title. Many of the journals are located in the ML1 and ML5 sections of the library. To get a sense of the journal literature, you may wish to read the entry in Grove Music Online for periodicals, which gives a listing of significant music journals and the history of music journal publication. More likely though you will want to search in some of the music databases which allow you to search multiple publications at once. The two main music databases are Rillum and Music Index which offer access to written sources on classical music. Links to relevant music databases that contain journal articles are found on the Music Research Guide. Two of the most popular music databases are Music Index and Rillum. Both Music Index and Rillum are good places to start for doing general research on music topics. If you're doing research on Canadian music topics, try the Canadian Music Periodical Index. If you're looking for historical journal articles, try one of the retrospective databases that contain works published before 1960. The Music Research Guide also contains links to a number of databases on interdisciplinary topics. You might want to start with JSTOR or Academic Search Complete. 
For this example, we'll be searching in Rilim. In this example, I'm going to search for articles on Beethoven's Eroica. Since Rilim contains articles in a number of different languages, I'm going to limit my results to English. From this page, I have a number of different options. I can limit the results to academic journals. I can also limit the results to a certain publication date range using the sliders on the left hand side. By clicking on the title of one of these articles, I will be able to find out more information including the author, major topics, an abstract that gives a summary of the article, and the name of the journal. From this page I can also find the full text of the article either through a PDF or through the Find It button. If I want to save some of my search results for later, I can use the Add to Folder feature I'm going to save a few different items. You'll see that these items are being added to the right hand side of the page. Once I've collected a few items, I can go into the folder. Here's a list of the articles that I decided to save. From this page, I can print, email, or save this file for later. That concludes this video on finding written sources for music research. In this video, we've talked about how to find books, theses and dissertations, and journal articles.